Inside 30,000 pound private hospital where Molly May gave birth, which was used by Meghan Markle. Following the grand tradition of many celebrities before them, Molly May Haig, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not saying the name right, uh, and Tommy Fury checked into a private London hospital for the birth of their daughter, where patients are offered lobster and can pay up to 30,000 pounds. I think that is that would be like the, whole, the total cost for the childbirth. Why I'm mentioning this particular incident, it is because of Meghan Markle, because this is the same hospital she gave birth to, I believe, Archie. And one report is claiming right now that Archie, his birth in that hospital has no record, as we have tossed the idea of Meghan faking the birth of Archie and Lily all along just to get those extra perks from the British royal family, for example, the title, security, and many other things. But let's take a look at what Molly is saying, because according to this new report, Molly is saying that she could not find any record of Meghan Markle giving birth to Archie. Therefore, it becomes even more suspicious whether Archie does even exist. For the birth of her baby girl, Molly May Haig checked into a top private maternity hospital, which can cost up to £30,000. The Love Island star 23, so Molly May is a Love Island star, <laughs> a delighted fans last night when she announced the birth of her baby daughter, saying her love grows, quote, with each passing moment. What, according to this new report, what they're suggesting is that they have checked with the CEO or the head of the hospital to see if there is any record of Meghan Markle giving birth to Archie and they found nothing. This is what they're saying. But the question is why they would be so interested about Meghan Markle. This is the question. Well, there could be one reason. Number one is because the same hospital that was used. Number two could be Molly May just came across this news that uh, Meghan Markle actually faked the whole uh, birth of Archie. Who knows? But let's take a read a little bit from this article and then I'll play another video to show you guys what they're claiming. Molly May gave birth at the Portland Hospital in London, previously used by Meghan Markle, Victoria Beckham, Liz Hurley, and Danny Dyer, Catherine Ryan, Princess Eugenie, to name a few. The Central London Maternity Hospital is known for its exclusivity and privacy right off the bat there is a red flag exclusive and private mm -hmm. that would really help megan a lot because this is exactly what she wants she doesn't want anybody to know anything about how archie was born all the details so mm -hmm, it makes sense right <laughs> before she gave birth molly told her fans in a youtube video that she is having her baby in london rather than manchester Okay, so there was like change in plan. Initially, they decided to go to Manchester, but then later on, they switched it to London. Why? Maybe Molly was interested to go to this particular Portland hospital in order to find maybe more about Meghan Markle. Or she, as I said, just came across about the news of Meghan faking the, the birth of Archie. That she's having baby in London rather than Manchester, where they leave explaining it was, quote, for privacy reasons and to feel the most comfortable and secure. This two word is making me a little bit freaky because uh, this is exactly what Megan would opt it for. You can see the picture, Molly May. She welcomed her baby at a private London hospital. And on the right side, you see another picture of her. Earlier today, the star shared an adorable photo of herself and her daughter who was then just a few hours old. Prattling her baby, she sits in front of uh, plush gray curtains and a smart leather chair inside the Swanky hospital. The main point I really want to derive from this article is that this hospital is very very expensive which Megan I don't think she can afford especially that time when remember Harry was complaining that my father cut me off from financial support so the Clarence house, house from the Buckingham Palace Clarence house according to Harry did not pay him anything why would they admit Megan to this hospital 30,000 Pound is a lot of money. Wiping out a Louis Vuitton toilet dop kit pouch, which has a retail price of 685. So again, showing very, very expensive. And the other point that I want to derive from this article is that this uh, hospital has pretty much airtight privacy and security and you are 100% comfortable. So even if Mega Markle did put her name in the hospital, you know, for the patients uh, in the patients list, I don't think you can ever find out because it, this is very, very private hospital. 
people will, will not have any access. For us, from outsiders, it is impossible for us to really find out if Megan did give birth to Lily because the hospital will not say anything to us whatsoever. And I believe they signed a contract with uh, Megan if she did uh, admit to the hospital, which I doubt happened. Let's take a look at this video and then I'll be making some more comments. New mum, Molly May Hay, confirmed Meg never gave birth at the Portland hospital over CEO Janine claims. Celebrities who've had babies at London's Portland hospital from Molly May to Meghan Markle. Molly May Haig is the latest celebrity to give birth at the Portland Hospital, an exclusive private paternity hospital, but many famous faces have delivered there over the years. Molly May Haig welcomed a baby girl to the world on January the 23rd, making her the latest famous face to give birth at the Portland Hospital. London's Portland Hospital is one of the top private maternity hospitals in Europe. Molly May has become the latest celebrity to give birth in the exclusive hospital. Pictures shared by the former Love Island star showed decor matching the pictures of the maternity suite shown on Portland Hospital's website, including grey curtains and the chair Molly sat in as she cuddled her newborn Bambi. She posted an adorable picture of a newborn baby on her Instagram account and then happily responded to fans' comments during her postpartum recovery. Notably, a commenter called Alicia1989 asked her, this is supposed to be that royal hospital where Meghan also gave birth to Archie. Good for you, Molly May. However, 30 minutes later, Molly May suddenly responded to this comment. Meghan Markle? I'm not sure. From what I heard here from the nurses and Janine Madden, Portland Hospital CEO, we should believe in moon bump theory, followed by three smiling icons. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. The Duchess of Sussex's decision to give birth to Archie in May 2019 at the Portland Hospital was a controversial one, as it broke what had become somewhat of a royal tradition. Diana and Kate both revealed their babies to the world with a photo call on the steps of the Linda Wing at St Mary's Hospital in London. But Meghan defended her decision to give birth elsewhere, speaking on the Harry and Meghan Netflix documentary she said that she had a long-standing relationship with a doctor at London's luxurious Portland Hospital, so wanted to give birth there. However, no one has testified or witnessed this mysterious birth. Also, to this day, no medical doctor has come forward and claimed or signed any legal papers stating that they were present in the room or physically helped deliver Archie from her body. It's the intention of the Sussexes to mislead the world about anything to do with the pregnancy and birth of either child. I'll not play the rest of the video, guys. You get the po point. You, you paint the picture for yourself and see for yourself, really, Meghan Markle is a big liar. These are all her parkies. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.